What's up guys, CJ back once again for Kung Fu Nights here for the Office Le Lecture Circuit Part 2. I'm not going to waste too much time, I am getting right into it. Oh. Hello everyone. Oh, ice cream. Nice, Kevin. Looks good. You trying to be nice? Yeah. You have two of them? Oh shit. Angela, you're more chipper than usual. I am proud to announce that there is a new addition to the Martin family. Her father was in Meet the Parents. Needless to say, she's very, very expensive. How much? $7,000. For a cat? Jesus. I could get you a kid for that. Where'd you get that kind of money? I sold Andy's engagement ring on eBay. What? You didn't give it back? He wouldn't have wanted that. So, detour. We're now adding Nashua to the lecture circuit so Michael can confront Holly and get some closure. Ooh, Nashua actually things. sounded very excited on the phone. I don't think they get a lot of visitors. Mm. Hey, what the hell's going on? Why don't you tell Jim where you were from ages 14 to 50? I was kicking up. In juvie. What? Juvie. Nile. Detention center. Where they send teenagers. Yep. For re- Got it. What did you do? Huh? Hey, Dwight? Sounds like she was 14, so maybe we want to go a little easy. If she's old enough to get married, she's old enough to follow the law. What did you do? My boyfriend at me. So the, I stole his boat. 300 years ago, 200 years ago. His boat, it was actually his father's. 100 years ago? And I just thought it'd be really romantic. Like, Thelma and Louise, but with like a boat. I mean, I, I don't even know what the theme is. What's the theme? It's bird fasting. Those aren't themes. There's always a theme. We to see Jim and Dwight it's on the same side. I always fight each other. Cake, okay, you know what? Next time I'll let you oh. get the cake and I get to scream at the birthday girl. <laughs> um, is uh, Holly Flex anywhere here? Actually, she's on an HR retreat for the next three days. Well, she's not here. <sighs> but if you need to get in touch with her immediately, you could talk to AJ. He's a salesman here. AJ. Yeah, he's her boyfriend. He's just... No! No! Oh, God. She has a boyfriend. I'm so sorry, Michael. I'm sorry, Michael. How could she do this to me, Pam? It was awful. I hated it. I wanted to quit, but... Please, come on. I'm going through something. Okay? <sighs> Can't do anything right, Michael. Everyone will tell her what a great job you did. And then she'll realize what she's missing. Good God. Oh, <gasps> that one ugly cat is humping Princess Lady. No! Awesome. Stop it, Mr. Ash! Bad cat! That is very bad! You stop it right now! I swear, he is fixed. I am fixed, then it's fixed. No way. No, now listen, you can't let what you see here sully your image of them. They are good, decent cats. <laughs> I gotta go. I'll be back in an hour. To do, and you are putting up a very effeminate sign. Is that what you've been doing? It's making it's effeminate. Sign. It's festive. You've been making that sign for something that we could just announce to the whole office. Hey, everybody, the party's now at three. I know, I just read it on the sign. <laughs> Good morning, Vietnashua! Funny, Mr. Wonderful. So, okay. Okay, we're talking about Holly's so, boyfriend. What's, uh, what's your name? AJ. AJ? What kind of name is AJ? What, do you race cars? <laughs> I'm a salesman. That's why I raise my hand. Ooh, ouch. Okay, good. You're funny. Very good and funny. Tell me, AJ, are you dating? Is there somebody you date? Is it serious? It's pretty serious, yes. <laughs> Does she ever talk about me? Oh, God. Excuse me? What does this have to do with sales? It's all connected. Shut up. Does she ever mention Michael Scott? No, what are you talking about? Yeah, I can't do this. Just your phone. Sales is like a box 
of chocolates. You never know which vendor you're going to get. Forrest Gump. Aww. Pam's so cute. Laser. My God, this is Yay. so uncomfortable. But Cutting it's still great. Where is that fat cat? Oh, you know who you are. This is getting weird. Is she cleaning the cat with her tongue? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God, he's at her desk. This is sad, but still creepy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Just read it, just read it. issues that go behind licking a cat are not things I want to go into. Look up. Oh my god. Want some pie? So, tell her. Elsa stole something off of her computer. A document called Dear Michael. You did what? I shouldn't have done it. It just, I couldn't help it. She never said it to no, you? No, she, she didn't. I could read it. Mmm. There's an idea. No, I wouldn't. Do it. Yeah, I could read it. No, you don't have to do that. Go get your laptop. Okay. It's deleted. Well. Mm -hmm. She still has feelings for you. She said that? Is that what it said? What did it say? I can't tell you specifically, but it's not over. Happy birthday! Surprise. Happy birthday. Surprise. Hey, it's, hey, hey, it's surprise. not a surprise. This doesn't look good. What? You have a cake. You have a delicious cake with your name spelled correctly. Because the fun part is you get to decide on an hour of television or an hour of napping. That's our theme. Huh. Yeah? I love it. Oh, yes! Okay, good. So what's it gonna be, Kapoor? I have been watching TV all week. I choose nap. All right. Okay, nap it is. Everyone out. Get out. We're gonna be eating cake at our desks. Let's go. Surprise. Move it. Let's go, 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 go. Come on. Birthday time is over. Go make up for all the work you missed when you were taking your nap. <laughs> I feel great. So good to have closure. Ah, we should go apologize to Roy or something. No, we don't need to do that. Who have I wronged? When I saw him, I would never be able to apologize to him. Too fat. Big fat fatty. Jesus. All right, so that was Lecture Circuit Part 2 uh, of The Office. Um, gotta be honest, I didn't really care too much about Kelly's birthday, you know. Glad she got some semblance of one, got a little got a little cake. Te technically, she didn't even eat any cake. But um, I'm glad she was happy. Um, so to this letter and what Holly wrote. Um... I would have thought they would have brought this story back into the fold in full swing by this point, but that's okay. I guess it's good to know that she still does have the feelings, right? Um, uh, it's sometimes it's. I would like I I 
fool myself to th- into thinking that this show is predictable. Um, but it, you know, proves me wrong many times over, I would say. Um, yes, Michael did cross boundaries with taking the letter. Yes, she, yes, he did cross boundaries with cutting off the fucking sleeve of her jacket. But my guy's in pain, you know, he's got to, you know, <laughs> he needs something to hold on to. Um, it was, it was cool, you know, that Pam was able to be there for him, um, uh, it, it's interesting. The show is 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 very fun and light, um, but there are those moments where it can can pull on the on the emotional strings, and and, and this was definitely one. Um, trying trying to think of some others, but like another one would be whenever you know the classic art show situation with Pam and Michael there's the proposal there's uh, Pam coming back from New York Um, a lot of a lot of things like that Uh, Angela's weird Um, you know we know she's the crazy cat lady but goodness she's licking a cat and um, you know Andy and Dwight you're, you're you're probably better off on that one I would say um, even though I feel like Dwight and her will end up getting back together, maybe season six. Um, it was interesting seeing uh, Jim and Dwight work together toward a common goal. Um, I hadn't seen them together like that since maybe the Traveling Salesman episode. Um, where you, where you kind of can see how... I guess that 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 they're a good team and they can accomplish something. I don't get what was going on between the. I didn't get the cake at all. That 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 just went completely over my head. Actually, Um, I I didn't understand. Like, okay, there's a chiclet on the cake. What does it have to do with taking a nap or watching TV? I feel like I I do talk over some of these things sometimes, so I don't really (laughs) follow. Including with the other lady that Andy was hitting on in part one, was that I assume that was a client. Um, it was cool seeing the again the Utica branch and the Nashau branch. Um, fuck AJ, fuck that guy. You know, it seems like a nice dude, but whatever, fuck him. You know, he's with Holly. My, my boy Michael's supposed to be with Holly. It's not going to fly. That's got to change. Um, she's going to show up in Scranton at some point. She will show up randomly before the season's over, I'm calling it. Because, I mean, how, how else are we going to bring up the the end portion of this joke of him having her sleeve? She's got to she's gotta confront my guy, you know. Of course, she's going to know it's him. and But who knows? Maybe she'll think it's sweet or... I don't know. They they're they're oddballs. The two of them, I would say. But yeah, I'm gonna close this one out. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when the next office reactions are coming out. Next episode is called Blood Drive. That one's on Patreon as well as four episodes past that. So a total of five episodes past. We are on there. Links in the description. I think that's it. Catch you next time. Peace. I wanna take for a ride.